guys, welcome to the show. And today you join me in a very hot and sticky, humid New York. And what better day than to discuss a few items of clothing to keep you cool and stylish during the summer. Um, so we're going to do a clothes haul and a few other little bits and bobs that I picked up uh, that I that I need for up and coming vacation. Before we get started, I'll ju just do a very quick wristwatch check. I am, of course, wearing the Orient Star, um, and it's become my kind of go-to at home watch. You know, when I'm not out with the dog or going to work and doing kind of um, you know rough and tumble type stuff. Uh, I tend to put this on when I get home and it's just really, really nice. I just adore this watch. And they are still currently on sale, I believe, at Long Island Watches. So I don't know how long that sale is going to last. Um, I presume it, they could have sold out already. But anyway, um, check out re the review of this piece. It, It's just, you know, it's become my at-home watch. It's just very elegant just to, you know, when I'm when I'm relaxing at home. So anyway, without further ado, let's switch over to POV. Uh, I'm gonna shoot this in my bedroom because I've got more space. I'm just gonna lay out stuff on the bed uh, so it's just a bit easier for you to, to, um, to see. Okay, guys. Here we are in my bedroom. And as you can see, quite a wide variety of stuff. Now, generally for, for summer stuff, I don't like to spend a huge amount of money. Because I find that, especially with stuff like shorts, I find myself throwing them away the next year and buying a new pair because, you know, I really wear the hell out of these. And I just tend to go for really classic, affordable options. These are the, these are the um, cargo shorts, classic fits from Dockers. They retail for $50, but you can pick them up for, I think I paid about 20 bucks, 25 bucks on Amazon. And these are just very classic. This is the Oregano color. Uh, I tend to go for either British khaki, uh, which is really, you know, it's, it's like the desert rats type color, uh, which is very classic. Um, anyway, let me open these up. Let me just get my knife. It's gonna be a bit. So like I said, I tend to get the same uh, shorts every, <laughs> pretty much every single year. This is a new color for me. I wanted to go with something um, a little kind of more militaristic. Um, and this colors like this, you know, the khaki or, you know, a really kind of olivey. I mean, they call this oregano. Just goes with everything. And uh, I love these, they're so useful, lots of pockets. And the fit of these is perfect. And yes, it is, you know, it's made in China. It's nothing, nothing luxurious about it. Um, I'm a 20, I'm a 29 inch waist. But, you know, like I said, I just buy a new pair every year. And when I'm done, I chuck them out. And, and next year I buy a fresh, clean pair. These are, these are what I recommend, uh, nothing amazing, anyway. Moving on. Now something I, I really, really do like for summer is some nice linen shirts. And I found these two um, Perry Ellis linen shirts also on Amazon. These are short sleeve. These are small. And this is from Perry Ellis. And I went for a white and a light blue. Just classic colors. Um, this is great for every day. You can have really perfect for hot, sticky weather, but you but if you don't want to wear a t-shirt and you want to be a, maybe a little bit more kind of kind of casual smart, you know, a lovely linen shirt is the way to go. Now, you can spend a fortune and get, you know, really expensive ones, but like I said, I tend to I tend to prefer just to buy new shirts every year and, you know, just very cheap disposable summer stuff. You know, they're going to get stained. They get, you know, you want to go to the beach. You don't want to have to worry about having expensive clothes. I tend to have more I tend to have more higher end clothes for winter, you know, because those are things that you come back to every year. And, and, and so, you know, these are very cheap um, and also on Amazon. I'll, I'll try and put a link in the description. Now I am going on vacation. Now I'm going somewhere very hot, but uh, often in, especially in American, um, air-conditioned hotels it gets chilly at night and I'm a big fan of silk shirts especially 
from Brooks Brothers. I wanted to get, I've, you know, I've got navy blue, uh, I've got this shirt in navy blue. I have this shirt in, um, I think in black and also in this kind of blue. But I wanted something more luxurious and lovely and soft. I love my shil silk shirts, they're just they're fantastic. I wanted something a bit bright and, 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 and brash um, for kind of, you know, for formal dining in the evening. This is a long sleeve. Um, and you can wear a, you know, a sports jacket or something on top of it. Um, because I find that in air-conditioned hotels, it, it does get a bit cold, especially if you're dining. So at night, I'm going to have, I'm going to wear one of these. Uh, this I picked up on a store on eBay, and they had them on offer. They must have, they obviously bought a huge lot of them, but it is uh, genuine Brooks Brothers, beautiful silk, uh, really soft, luxurious. Um, that is something that, that, you know, at evening time, I will put something a little bit more kind of um, a little higher quality. And then, of course, I've got a pair of these. I bought, uh, this is a V-neck. Lacoste. I wanted something bright for summer, uh, something a bit different. If you can see there, it is uh, Pima cotton, really nice soft cotton. Just doesn't. It, it's they're just it's so comfortable for summer. Really nice and keeps you cool. I uh, actually got a navy blue one of these and a grey. So, but I've already opened those, so I, I didn't want to <laughs> didn't want to include them in the video. Um, but. The summertime is the only time I wear bright colours. Only time. If you see me in, in winter, it's all blacks and blues and greys and all the rest of it. Um, but summertime is the only time I, I do, do bring out the, the bright colours. Um, it's just fun, you know. Now, moving on, uh, I also put, purchased... I wanted to get a, a, another a second camera to, to back up this camera that I'm using now that I could just put in places to do time lapse, capture time lapses, or um, wife, the wife, something small that the wife can carry as a backup. This was recommended by um, uh, oh God, I've forgotten the name. Uh, uh, what's his name? Casey Nestat. He views this as one of the best cameras, and they are extremely affordable now. Uh, I paid. I think just over 200 for this, 250, 200 I think. And I have, have had to play around with it. It's a fantastic camera, really good quality considering the price. Really nice touch screen on the back and, and just so far really, really good camera. So I'm quite impressed with that. Uh, very cheap and as I said, I'm going on vacation and, and I've dropped this camera so many times that I'm petrified it's just gonna stop working one day. So. Instead of going on vacation and relying on one camera, if something goes wrong, at least I've got this. And it's small enough that the wife can put it in her handbag. Um, but she won't have to do that because I've actually bought a bag. But anyway, let me, I'll get onto that in just a second. So this is just a backup camera. It does take really, really nice stills as well. I'm really over the moon with this. So this is gonna be my travel, traveling camera. Um, anyway, so you guys, as you know, in one of my videos where I was walking old Ernie, I had just a very cheap Adidas kind of, um, you know, gym bag. I, d I don't even know what they're called. And you guys so rightly suggested I should get a proper little carry bag, you know, to put my cameras and all of that stuff in. And I looked at thousands of bags, thousands, very expensive leather bags and then, you know, this, that and the other. And actually, by the end of it, I was so sick of it. And then I came across this uh, army bag, and this is from this is actually from this place called Military Uniform Supply Inc. And they they are absolutely amazing. They have everything you could possibly anything military re related you could possibly imagine. This is uh, this is the extreme pack, and this is on this is on Amazon. Uh, retails for $69.99 but actually I paid I think I paid I can't remember it, it was it definitely wasn't as much as that it was probably about half that but it's it's a fantastic bag let me show you some of the features so we have a sealable inside with tons and tons of little pockets you know a great place to put torches knives um, 
you know, pen, space for your Parker pen, <laughs> mobile phone, all lots of pockets, and really, really comfortable shoulder strap. And a, you just untuck it, untuck it here. This bit, this bit goes around your waist. So um, it's a proper military bag. A lot of people buy this to carry their guns in, funnily enough. It's, it's really great uh, affordable bag and very well constructed uh, as you'd expect from military stuff and just much more affordable and casual and, and I really like this camo. So I thought I'd get a matching cap because where I'm going to be taking vacation is extremely hot and I need a cap for to protect myself from the sun so I got a matching cap and the guys at military uniform supply were extremely kind they threw in some free patches they told me to choose a couple of patches of course i i, I got the union jack so i'm just gonna stick that there and just you know velcro velcro thing so you can customize it and uh, i chose these three i thought i thought this is quite funny i mean it's silly i might i might not even have it but uh it's quite funny you know, if, if you're into shooting, you'll you'll get the joke. Um, little cool little Punisher thing. I'm not really sure about putting that on my cap. I don't, I don't really want to advertise it. I quite like it just plain. In fact, I might... This is only $4. Um, this is from... Really good stuff. I mean, four, four bucks. Pretty good uh, quality. I might actually try and take this off. Because it's just very simply stitched on, so... Um, it might look better. Uh, also, I needed some new headphones. Sennheiser CX302 Precisions. Uh, Sennheiser, now now I'm an audio guy. Well, I used to work as an audio engineer and, and music producer, so I do know uh, audio quite well. The reason, and, and you're probably thinking, well, why, why did I go for these relatively cheap holes? Well, actually at music school, Sennheiser, I learned to mix and I learned a lot of the, a lot of my classes, and I learned to mix in the studios using Sennheiser headphones. Not these, but um, actually even cheaper versions of these. And the frequency response, the, the frequency range here is quite wide, really nice low end, uh, all the way to um, 21,000 hertz, which is, you know, what. It's a really nice wide range, so I thought, well, why not? And it's a brand that I trust, and they know what they're doing. There's a reason why my audio school chose this brand and their products uh, as standard kit for all of their students. You know, it's a brand that I just, I just know and I trust and I come back to. So I decided to go for these quite unusual little earbud thingies. So it comes with a little pouch. So. I needed some decent headphones for the flight and also when I'm out and about with walking Ernie and all the rest of it. So looking forward to using these. Now, so last but not least. So we got a bag, we got a hat, we got a couple of shirts, we've got the um, shorts sorted and now we need something on my feet. Now, summertime if I'm doing a lot of walking about, I've got the New Balances. If it's formal, I have my Allen Edmonds loafers. But what do you want when you want something casual, just to, you know, go to the beach or, or something like that. But you, you, you kind of want to be casual, but not too casual that it's like in flip-flops, which is, you know, a, a no-no. Never wear flip-flops in public unless you're on a beach. So I went for these and Last year, I had a pair of these when I was living in Barcelona and they were just great. But be warned, getting the sizing right can be a bit of a difficulty. I went for grey this time. Uh, just goes with everything really. I mean, you could wear this, you could wear this shirt with this, with that, with the bag. Fantastic, lots of, it just works with absolutely everything. But be warned, the, the sizing of these is quite tricky. These are size sevens, which is minute. I'm at eight and a half. Um, so you really need to try them on. The, the, the size number actually has no correlation to, to, um, to your actual size. So 
what does it say here? So it has this special ortholite sole. Traps, uh, it's, it's supposed to prevent uh, odors and uh, fungus from inhabiting and, and keep keeping your feet uh, well aired and cooled. So that's a pretty cool thing. So this is, this is actually, these are quite expensive. This is about $69. Um, you could go with a no name, you know, for 20 bucks. But actually I do find that, that it is, you know, this thing whatever they call it is actually pretty pretty uh they, it is pretty good the inner lining cushioning here actually does work and i have noticed with cheap shoes they they after a while you get that plasticky smell you don't get that odor from these so it is worth it if if you spend that extra 50 40 bucks on getting something really nice and of course it's lacoste so it's it's really decent quality so that's it, that's, that's pretty much, I don't spend a huge amount of money on, on my summer setup. I just buy a few little bits and bobs. You know, I'll, I'll buy a few plain white t-shirts through the loom, white t-shirts just to wear with this. It's just very, very light and casual. I, you know, I don't want to spend a lot of money. Like I said, I prefer to spend big money on winter and formal clothes, suits, jackets uh, for, for autumn and, and, and winter because for me, you know, spending a huge fortune on, on, on expensive summer clothes that's just going to get sand and dirt and ice cream and, you know, sun lotion from the beach and all these things. It's, it's, it's just not, not going to, it's not really worth it. So anyway, so that's my little summer haul. Okay, guys, so we'll end it there and we'll go back to the studio. Okay, guys, so I think we'll wrap it up there. Thank you very, very much for watching. If you have any recommendations of great summer items to buy, please comment down below and like this video if you enjoyed it and I'll definitely catch you next time. Okay guys, thank you. Ciao.